Man, what are you doing with your lives, man? You guys are simping hard. I'm not talking about the, the simping where you simp over a woman, like, give her love and stuff. I mean just letting women just control your feelings. Like, what is going on with you guys? So, if you don't know, there's a man from Georgia. He was rejected. He was rejected by a woman. And instead of taking it on the chin, being like, you know what? It's okay that I got rejected. I want to move on. I want to better myself. I'm going to be the best version. As I, I want to be the best version I can. So that woman will look at me and be like, man, I'm missing out by not dating that guy I rejected. He's successful. He's handsome. He has something going for him. I should have said yes to him when I had the chance. Instead of that fantasy happening, instead of turning that fantasy into a reality, this man decides to light her house on fire and light her car on fire. Now, luckily, she wasn't in the house or the car when this happened. But um, this man got 20 years for that. And I just have to say, are you happy? Was it worth it? Really? Because I can tell you right now, <laughs> there are no women in the, in the prison you're going to. <laughs> There's no women in there for you. You're not going to be... <laughs> not going to get rejected in there. I'm telling you that right now. And look at this guy. Look at this fool. Link in the article in the description below. But this man. <laughs> this man looks like Chief Keef's little brother. <laughs> he has like the, the, the 2012 Chief Keef dreadlocks and everything. But man. Um, yeah. How do you let women do this to you man? Like. I can understand being angry or upset by getting rejected. Like, I, I've been rejected before. It's just kind of like, eh. But I always see it as like an opportunity of just like going on. And, um, you know, I, I kind of just see it as like motivation. is like to keep trying and just like find other people to uh, to ask out or whatever. Uh, I've been rejected a couple times uh, in college and stuff. But it never really put me down. I never really got upset over it. Per se, I, I I just kind of just like oh, I'm all right. And I I just always kind of struck it out. But this guy took it to a whole new level. He was like, "You reject me, woman. You are gonna face the wrath, burn down her house, and her car." Wow. How do you let women do this? I I don't I know I keep asking this, but why? Why would you why would you do this to a random woman just because she rejected you? And honestly, it's probably because of his ego. He probably just couldn't handle a woman just saying no to him. And he just felt like he had to um take his frustration out on her. As sad as sad as that is, um probably what happened. I wish we could get an interview with this guy and just be like, why why are you so dumb, so stupid? You got rejected by one woman. And how many women are on this planet? Like, three? Three billion women? Four billion? Like, just keep it moving, man. There are they're women. Like, this guy isn't even, isn't even that bad looking. Like I said, he, looked like, he looks like Chief Keith back in his prime. And Chief Keith, man. <laughs> how, many, how many children does Chief Keith have? Like, 12? Probably not that many, but like, eight? Five? Like... That man has a lot of children. If you look like Chief Keith, man, the women love the Chief Keith. They still love Chief Keith. If you look like Chief Keith, you will get women. Why are you going around being mad at one woman who rejected you? <laughs> Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Is your ego really that fragile? How? And the article doesn't say, but... Do you think he thought the woman was like in her house when he burned it down? Do you think um, do you think um he thought he was that uh, uh she was in the house? Are you, you do you think um he uh you think he knew she was in the house? That just be pretty bad. Just going out, just hanging out with your friends. You just come back, your car is on fire, your house is on fire. You're just like, what is going on? And by that, by that time, you know that someone was messing with you. I mean, if you came back and you're like, your car was just on fire or like your house was just on fire, 
You might not suspect someone did it intentionally, but if both your house and your car were set on fire, you know someone had a vendetta against you. Crazy. Crazy. Like I said, I don't think I ever like took it personally when a woman just rejected me. I'm just like, all right, whatever. Like, maybe they're interested in someone else. Maybe she already has a boyfriend. Maybe I'm not her type. You know, can't please everyone. Can't please everyone. But, you know, there's someone out there for you. I mean, you look at all these fat people. They got girlfriends. And I'm not I'm not talking crap about fat people. I'm just saying, like, um, mainstream media doesn't really think uh, obese people are attractive. But you see you see a lot of, um, you see a lot of uh, heavy guys with uh, girlfriends. Like, some of them are really hot, too. Like, they have, like, really hot girlfriends. So, Someone out there for everyone. I mean, it would have been worse if she um if she accepted you and she was just like a horrible girlfriend. Like she couldn't cook, she she didn't have anything going for her. She just kept she just constantly asked for drug money just to get high and stuff. I wouldn't want that. I need a girlfriend who's about something. I need a girlfriend who will give me something in return. Like Whatever, man. Hey, if you if you thought it was worth it, if you thought twenty years in prison is worth it, more power to you. Not worth it for me. I would never go to prison over a woman. I wouldn't go to prison over raping a woman, killing a woman, punching a woman. Nope, not worth it to me. Just cut them off and keep moving. This video sounded really. <laughs> I'm sorry. This video sounded really misogynistic. I just know. I just kind of. Thought that up. I was gonna end the video. I'm just like, wow, this video sounds really misogynistic. But the point of this video is, men, just listen to me, men. Just listen to what I'm saying. Be independent. Work on yourself. Work on your job. Work on your music, your craft, whatever. Work on your hobbies or whatever. Um, and women will just come to you. Women want a man who just seem like they. A women want a man who just, it's just, oh, someone just texted me. Women want a man who just seems like they, um, they're stable. Like, they're good. Like, they have something going for them. So, maybe this guy didn't have anything going for him. Who knows? Who knows? All right, that's all I got for this video. Peace.